Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I use Lee Filters range of neutral density filters. So this is filters like the Little Stopper, Big Stopper and Super Stopper. But the workflow I use for each of these is exactly the same. So I've jumped down here down to the uh, Frowood Point on the South Devon coast. It's a nice bit of coastline here, there's a bit of a breeze and there's plenty of cloud about. So this is an ideal opportunity to do some long exposures. So why don't you join me in this video and I'll take you through my workflow. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I actually need to get a composition. I need to have an image in which I'm going to uh, use filtration on in the first place. So I'm going for a fairly simple composition there with uh, the rocks uh, leading out to the sea uh, with one of those small rocky islands out in the distance. So very simple composition but that will work well with a long exposure. Before I add any filters I'm going to check my base image. So what I mean by the base image is have I got it technically correct in the camera? So what's the aperture? What's the exposure? I've got the ISO set correctly and then my focus correctly. So I'm going to take my first shot and um, I've currently got it set at f13 one tenth of a second ISO 100. I'll take that image and check everything's technically correct. Okay I've got my base image uh, taken now and now I'm just going to check it. So one of the first things I do is I check it for sharpness. Is it acceptably sharp in the areas that I want it to be in? Uh, and then after that um, I also check the exposure. Um, have I exposed it correctly? I'll look at the histogram. Do I need to expose more to the right? Um, is anything blown out that might indicate that I might need to use some um, graduated filters. So once I've got all those checks done and I'm happy with the image, uh, then it's to make time to start making decisions about which filters to use. Okay, just having a look at my image there, though the sky um, isn't blown out, it's quite a bit brighter than uh, the rest of the image. So I'm actually going to use um, a leaf filters uh, graduated filter just to bring that sky down a little bit uh, more in balance with the foreground. So I'm going to go for a two-stop hard edge uh, grad. I'm going to add that in, I'm going to retake my base image and then I'm going to check everything again. So looking at my base image which I'm now happy with, um, I can see that um, at one fifth of a second if I use a 10 stop neutral density filter that will give me an exposure time of about 3 minutes 20 which should give me the look that I'm uh, aiming to get from this image. So but before I actually put the big stopper on I'm going to cover it up, I'm going to cover the rear eyepiece with this black cover here to stop any light leaking in the back. And now I'm ready to put in the big stopper. Okay, I've got everything in place now. I'm ready to start taking my exposure. I'm going to use the Leaf Filters app here, where I've already got my settings plugged in. This will give me the timer that I want. And I've also, on the D750 at least, um, I put it into time mode. And I'm going to use a cable release, uh, lock it out, start the timer, um, pass the time, and then we'll see what the image looks like at the end. Okay, that's my exposure done. All I've got to do now is go back onto the camera and do my basic checks again. Just double check the sharpness, double check the exposure's all right, uh, and providing that's all right, job done. That's all looking good in the back of the screen there. I think I'm happy with the results. It's time to head back to the office, process the images, uh, and see what the final result is. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little trip out to Frillwood Point. Um, before I recap the steps that I described um, while I was out there, um, it's important to note that this uh, technique applies to any of the um, stopper ranges of, of filters, whether it's a 6 stop or a 10 stop or even a 15 stop. And the reason I go through this um, process is that once you put those um, neutral density filters into the camera, you can't see what's in the back of the screen or through the viewfinder anymore, so it's difficult to make adjustments uh, to the image once those filters are in place. And also, if you're committing to a 3, 5, or even a 10 minute exposure, um, you don't want to be uh, creating that image and then finding that you want to adjust something after you spent all that time on that exposure. So it's best to get these things right up front. Um, so when you put that um, stopper or neutral density filter in, uh, you can be reasonably confident the image is going to come out the way you want it to. So to recap, first, first stage, get your composition all set up. Get the image the way uh, you want it to look. 
next, uh, take a test image, check it for sharpness, uh, is it acceptably sharp in the areas that I need it to be, and also check the exposure. It's also at this time that I will consider putting in additional filters. So do I want to put a polarizer in? Do I want to put a neutral density graduated filter in, for example? So I'll put those in, and if I do that, I'll take another test image, and again, just check uh, is it acceptably sharp, and is the exposure what I want it to be. Next, I'll put the neutral density filter in. Now, whichever one you use will be dependent on how you want the final output of the image to look. I'll put that in, I'll take my image, and then once that's exposed, I will again just double check uh, the exposure, double check um, that it's focused or acceptably sharp in the areas that I want it to. One thing I should point out is if you're not using back button focusing on your camera, once you put that neutral density filter in, the camera will no longer um, be able to automatically focus. So if you're not using back button focus, and remember to switch the camera to manual focus, otherwise when you put your finger down on the shutter button, the camera may try and um, hunt out for focus, which obviously it won't be able to do because the image will be dark. So that's, that's kind of a, in a nutshell, my technique that I use when I go to use these neutral density filters. In terms of the results, so up on the screen now is the original image without any filters, and then I'll put uh, the next image is the one with the neutral density graduated filter in, and then there's the image with the uh, neutral density filter in. Uh, in this case, it was a 10 stop neutral density filter. And finally, this is the final output of the image. This is the image that I processed um, from the image from the raw file that I got out in the, in the field. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see these images in a bit more detail, please head over to my blog. There's a link coming up now. Um, and also, please like, comment and share this video and please do subscribe to the channel to be notified when I create new content. Until the next time, I'll see you then.